Hello everyone, welcome to Weathercast. So today's uh, video is on Northeast Monsoon 2020 unofficial forecast. Uh, so uh, I'm just giving my viewpoints which are purely personal. Uh, I don't want to kickstart any debate. Um, but I'm just presenting my viewpoint and this is uh, totally from a dynamical uh, viewpoint. I have not done any statistical analysis uh, where you look at uh, different years and compare that this year was La Nina and it uh, had excess northeast monsoon and similar trend is seen for this year. Uh, so we should expect the same. I'm not doing any uh, of those statistical analysis. I'm just presenting my dynamical analysis here. And uh, like I said, these are uh, personal views and unofficial updates or an official forecast, please follow IMD for all official forecast. Uh, so this is the synopsis and then I'll go into the dynamics. Uh, I feel like the Northeast monsoon is going to have a delayed onset over South India. The likely onset is going to be between October 30th to November 3rd. That is my viewpoint. Uh, I feel like the onset is going to be in November, around 2nd or 3rd of November. Overall performance, I'm expecting it to be below normal. Uh, which is 92 to 96 percent and uh, uh, looking at the dynamics at the present situation uh, it looks like uh, the divisions in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka are likely to see some deficient rainfall not huge deficit but uh, below normal performance is likely there is a possibility of uh, uh, two to three cyclones during the northeast monsoon season uh, October may produce one cyclone and uh, November may uh, have one or two uh, which could also spill over to December. So it, there is a, the cyclone season will be active. Uh, so in totality, what I want to say is the La Nina in the Pacific is likely to trump the Indian Ocean dipole effects and thereby uh, NEM season is going to be in doubt. And uh, that is why I, uh, this, by doubt I mean uh, there is a good chance of uh, below normal performance. So some un un unofficial numbers and take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, typically, there are five divisions uh, during the northeast monsoon. Uh, Tamil Nadu and Pondi, uh, slightly below normal is what I uh, expect. Kerala is the same. South interior Karnataka also the same. Uh, Raya Seema, uh, I feel it is borderline, but I am putting it in a below normal category. Uh, except for coastal Andhra Pradesh or other districts, uh, subdivisions will perform uh, subpar. That is what I feel. And because of this, overall performance is uh, likely to be below normal. So now coming to the dynamics, the southwest monsoon withdrawal is delayed. This has happened many times over the past years, but this year it's uh, kind of uh, dragging along uh, because uh, the withdrawal has been very, very gradual. The main reason is because the anticyclone is kind of stuck here. The anticyclone has to move further down and uh, come all the way up to central India. And then only um, it will uh, create the northwest, uh, sorry, the northeasterlies or easterly winds patterns to uh, align and uh, thereby uh, officially have a northeast monsoon announcement that is the onset but as you can see in this uh, figure there is still a anticyclone which is uh, which has not even crossed uh, mumbai and maharashtra so it is still lingering around north india and uh, below uh, you can see that there is a nice uh, there is a nice cyclonic pattern which means that the bay of bengal is going to produce low pressure systems and the monsoon trough axis the southwest monsoon trough axis is very much active near central india and west coast and whatever system forms uh, in the Bay of Bengal will move all the way across the west coast. That is mainly because the ITCZ and the monsoon circulation is very very active uh, in, um, uh, in over central India and west coast of India. So this is one of the reasons that uh, southwest monsoon has a bearing on northeast monsoon. So delayed withdrawal southwest monsoon means uh, there is going to be a delayed onset as well. And uh, in typically the uh, southwest monsoon withdrawal if it, uh, if it is delayed. Uh, there is still a chance of early uh, onset or there is a uh, chance of uh, 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 timely onset of northeast monsoon but this year is different because the lanina has developed very much late into the uh, into the summer and uh, that is going to keep things uh, active over the equator equatorial region and that's the reason why the monsoon trough axis is not able to push down uh, so that is the uh, make or break situation like you can say com you can compare many different years but every year is very different there is interseasonal and interannual variability of monsoon uh, so the going by that uh, the southwest southwest monsoon withdrawal is going to get pushed uh, and it is only going to withdrawal most likely uh, after october 20th so maybe 22nd 23rd and from there on 
uh, the winds need at least three to four days or maybe even five days for the winds to align, uh, the easterly winds to align and produce some kind of a tropical wave or a uh, upper air circulation for the northeast monsoon dynamics to kick start. So that's why I'm saying that there is going to be a delayed withdrawal, sorry, uh, delayed onset of northeast monsoon. I hope the dynamics are clear. This is the La Nina. Uh, it, clearly, the La Nina has developed very much late and it is still uh, increasing in its strength. Uh, you can see that it is now the assisted anomalies have reached almost minus uh, for 0.9 and they are floating around that value. And of course, because of that, you can see that there is a lot of activity over Western uh, Pacific and the Mar maritime continent. And that is also keeping a check on the wind alignment, like the winds are not able to uh, become favorable for northeast monsoon onset because the maritime continent and uh, western uh, Pacific is producing systems which is taking away the uh, moisture or taking away the uh, alignment of the wind patterns away from the uh, uh, Indian Ocean or it is not allowing it to uh, align uh, in a proper manner for northeast monsoon uh, dynamics. And this is also seen in this figure where you have, uh, because of the La Nina development, you have a lot of systems in the maritime ocean and the western Pacific. This is the Gulf and uh, Atlantic. Record number of cyclones are, are being produced, uh, but uh, you cannot discount the effect of La Nina because it is clearly seen uh, in the back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back -to -back systems that are being churned out from this uh, western Pacific and uh, maritime continent. So a lot of low pressure systems is a clean signature of La Nina and uh, one important thing is La Nina has developed very late into the season. Uh, usually what happens is La Nina starts maturing in February and generally it makes uh, announcement or it makes its arrival in July or August uh, or sometime in July. But this time it is in uh, late September is when the La Nina has, is becoming stronger. Uh, at least it's a moderate La Nina right now. And that is uh, uh, not favorable for northeast monsoon because it will not allow the winds to align favorably. Okay, And it is not allowing the MJ also to move into the uh, uh, Bay of Bengal Basin. As you can see, this is the MJO phase plot. And uh, nowhere in the next at least 15 days, the uh, MJO wave is going to come to uh, in the Indian Ocean. And that is, a make, that is a very important aspect because northeast monsoon is totally driven by the MGO dynamics. MISO is not at all important for northeast monsoon. Uh, if you look at the CFS forecast, you can clearly see those signatures of delayed onset because uh, you uh, you have these back-to-back -back systems which are going to come in and if they travel all the way along the west coast, which is seen in this uh, humidity plot where you have cloudiness, you can see that the monsoon trough is very active. If the monsoon trough was not active, then this system would come all the way to Orisha and then it would just make a U-turn and go up because there will be a ridge which will be the anticyclone which will be sitting over central India and it will not allow the low pressure systems to come all the way to the west coast but that is not, that is not what is happening. The uh, systems are going to cross all the way and come to the west coast and that means that southwest monsoon is still very active and it is going to be active even in the uh, fourth week of October as you can see from this plot uh, and that's why uh, only in the late half of October or the last leg of October or beginning of November things are starting to look like some uh, upper air circulation or a tropical wave, easterly wave will get produced and that will uh, signal the onset of a northeast monsoon. So uh, looking at the dynamics, I have presented complete dynamics here. I'm not talking about any statistics. It looks like there's a delayed onset and the delayed onset generally would also, uh, it doesn't correlate to a below normal performance, but I feel like since La Nina is very active, it is going to take away the moisture, uh, most of the moisture and uh, not allow strong systems or strong sustained systems like cyclones are strong systems but they are not sustained. Strong UAC or tropical waves to form uh, continuously and bring in a lot of rain. So there are going to be very uh, long break periods is what I believe during this northeast monsoon season. Looking at the local aspect you, are, you may be thinking I am only talking about Pacific okay let us talk about Indian Ocean IOD. Uh, you can see that the temperature differences are not too much it is uh, 27, 28 and this is 29 uh, so that uh, basically means that uh, the IOD is in a neutral phase or a, or a very very weak negative phase. Uh, so that again tells me that the Indian Ocean dynamics are not going to be uh, uh, that important for Northeast Monsoon dynamics this season because the La Nina is going to trump that. So uh, in conclusion this is what is uh, happening uh, or uh, this, is the, this is what the dynamics at least from my viewpoint whatever I understood 
uh, is telling me that the uh, onset of northeast monsoon is going to be delayed villa normal performance is uh, likely for probability is very high that's all i'm saying uh, if it performs normally well and good but probability is what i'm talking about based on the dynamics and in totality la nina in the pacific is going to trump iod effects so iod is not going to play a very important role that is what i feel okay so uh, uh, i thank you for your support again these are all unofficial updates or unofficial forecast uh, for all official forecast please follow the uh, government agency or private agencies uh, thank you for your support and please subscribe to this channel if you like these videos and i'll be back with more updates later